Hey everyone, it's Brian and today I'm going to be showing you some tips and techniques how to use your Mayron liquid makeup. So without further ado, let's get started. So with the liquid makeup, you can absolutely use it on its own. So I'm going to swatch them and I'll show you what it looks like when it dries. Here's the blue and here's the red and here's the yellow. So you can already see how opaque this is by just using the Mayron brushes. But how I like to use this is with an airbrush. So how I like to mix my liquid makeup and my mixing liquid is in a squeeze tube just like this one. So I mix one part liquid makeup and one part mixing liquid. So to make sure that I have the correct measurements, I put a mark where I left my liquid makeup and then I'm going to fill it up up until here just to make sure it is one to one ratio. There we go. Now that's filled, I like to use a ball bearing just like this one and then you just shake it up. So I already have this pre-mixed so I can just put this in my kit and I'm ready to go and ready to use it for when I need my airbrush. Tip number two, when you are using your airbrush you need to make sure that you are four to five inches away from your canvas so that you get that nice airbrushed look. Tip number three is customizing your colors. So while you still have the red paint in here, you can actually mix the yellow in the airbrush itself and you can make your own orange color. This technique is called back bubbling and it helps to mix your colors in your airbrush. So as you can see, we already made a nice gradient color of rainbow on my hand here by just using the airbrush. And you can see how nicely blended each and every colors are. This liquid makeup comes in a variety of colors, so I highly suggest to visit Mehran's website. All right, you guys, and that is it. And I hope that you learned something in this video. And until then, happy painting.